Hey, 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 my friend. I'm so excited to have you here. It's always a pleasure to have you here. So what are we going to talk about in today's session? Now, have you ever, ever Googled what happens to a female body after the age of 45? Guess what the top answer is? Increased body fat. So it's no big secret that all of us women, when we hit the age of 45 and up, we are very much concerned about our health, our wellness, and of course, our well-being. The second concern for women over 45 is actually finances. The reason for that is we women, we actually need to stop to have our kids and raise them. So when we go back to work, we have lost a chunk of time for our retirement fund. On top of that, we actually live longer than the guys. So it's no big wonder that finances is a bit of a concern for women that hit the age of 45 and over. So we are going to cover off quite a few things today and that is body image, self-esteem, mental health. I'm also going to touch on that empty nest syndrome. What you can actually be looking at in terms of adding to the finances within the household and how that's actually going to benefit you. My name is Connie Matthews and I do help entrepreneurs and network marketers build the right framework and business that can give them back 99% of their day. What would you do with that? Just imagine. So let's get into our topic today and that is thriving through the years, prioritizing your health and wellness, wealth for women over 45. I'm actually going to give you a very simple exercise to let's work out how your work-life balance is actually working for you in your home. Now, I want you to picture your wardrobe. You've gone to your wardrobe, you've opened the doors, the cupboard doors, and you're actually having a look at what's actually in the wardrobe. Now, what is the percentage of clothes that are work-related, leisure, and weekend wear? If you don't have like a 60-20-20, your life, that should, that'll should that tell you that your life is actually out of whack. I'm gonna use me as an example. I was a typical corporate warrior that started at five in the morning, finished at 10 o'clock at night. When I went to my wardrobe, guess what I was looking at? 95% of my wardrobe was corporate. Could you believe that? That's a really, really simple test just to actually analyze yourself, what your work-life balance, what your day looks like, and what you should be changing within your world. Topic number one, body image and self-esteem. Now, I'm also a personal stylist and one of the things that used to break my little heart is when we went on our shopping expeditions, obviously what I wanted to do is to help my client have the right clothes for their body shape, which meant color, hair, style, and the percentage of clothes that should be sitting in their wardrobe. But there was one little point in that little, um, in the shopping spree that used to break my heart. Every single woman, not just one, every single woman that stood in front of the mirror when they took all their gear off while I was handing the new clothes in to actually try, their whole demeanor changed. They were happy, 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 happy. Then they saw themselves in the mirror and it just went boom. Obviously, when we actually put all the clothes on, we had a hell of a lot of fun, but it was just that little bit of that little tiny moment that they lost their self-esteem. Hence why this is one of the things that I love to do is help women actually change that body image in their head. Now, let's be real here, ladies. We have had, we have had children. Most of us have had children. Of course, our body is going to change. If you are career-minded, like I became very career-minded, I was just working all the time. When you do things like this, our bodies will change and we will put on a little bit of weight, a little bit of body fat, and things will just snowball from there. Hence why I love to do what it is that I do. So if you go to my blog, which is conniematthews.com.au forward slash 012, click that big green button to download the freebie that will actually help you reduce your body fat. And I have got testimonials left, right and center inside that freebie that you can actually have a look at yourself. 
Now, this does not mean that you have to exercise like a Fruit Loop to actually regain your body shape. This is all designed around eating the right things at the right times and taking the right supplements that will help refine your body very quickly. If you actually want a little bit more information on that entire program, you're very welcome to reach out to me. You can text me, you can email me, and I will be more than happy to sit down with you and share a lot more data. But there is enough in that freebie to really get you started. There's quite a few recipes in there that will absolutely reduce your body fat. Topic number two, mental health. Now, it's a real big thing these days, and I'm just going to throw it out there for you again. Guess where a lot of this is actually occurring? From your gut. Now, it's no big secret, your brain does all the computations throughout the course of the day, but it's actually your gut that's going to tell you how you feel. So there's this thing called an axis, which is like a message highway that goes from your gut to your brain and they are talking to each other all day long. So it comes back to the food that we actually put into our system that's going to help us feel the way we feel. Think about your athletes. Now, if they don't eat the right things at the right times, they're not going to be performing at their best. So why is it that in our everyday life, we get a little bit derailed and we eat the wrong things at the wrong time and it's no big secret that we end up feeling unwell. One of the big things that can give away how we are feeling is inflammation in the body. What do your fingers look like? What do your toes look like? What do your ankles look like? If you've got any inflammation, you actually do have to, you do need to consider your food intake. Now I'm gonna give you another little test. It's probably the, not the nicest thing to be able to, talk, to be talking about on a YouTube video, but it's a really good one. When you, go, when you wake up in the morning and you go off to the bathroom, have a look at the color of your wee. The darker the wee, like if it's really heading towards the brown tinge, you've got way too much sugar in your system. That will actually also give you lethargy. It'll make you feel um, tired all the time. It will give you brain fog. It, brain fog, it actually is gonna give you less clarity in the mind. So that's a really great little test to do just yourself to be able to have a look at what was it that you ate the day before? How much sugar did you put into your system? It's a great little test. Now here's a little tip for you. You can take pre pro and post biotics, which will really help put beneficial bacteria back into your gut. Now the gut, like I said earlier, will actually be the thing that tells your brain how it is that you're feeling. So if you've got, um, if you've got brain fog or not, no mental clarity, again, we need to put good beneficial bacteria. So when you do go and get your pro, pre, pro and post biotics, make sure it's a good quality one and because a lot of them actually have sugar in it and that's what we're trying to delete from the system here. Of course, I take all three and I'm an advocate when it comes to pre, pro and postbiotics and supplements that will actually keep me uh, keep my energy levels up and high. and But also too, a lot of the supplements will actually help when you do take in your food intake, it will actually speed up the process of digesting that food. So that's also a bit of a help. Now, again, because I did 45 years of sport and as a health coach, food's really important. So another little test, every meal that you sit down to eat, have a look at that meal and say, to ask yourself, is it processed or is it fresh? If it's processed, there's a whole heap of stuff in there that's not gonna be doing your body and your weight much good. And often when it's processed, it's got a lot of sugar in there as well. So simple, let's get back to eating good food, which is unprocessed, your meats and your veg, that will actually change everything within your body and absolutely give you more mental clarity. Topic number three, empty nest syndrome. This is actually a real thing. And this is the reason for that. We women, we are nurturing. We like to have our home really nice. We like to have our kids around us, but when they actually leave the nest, many women will actually suffer uh, grief or sadness. So 
we need to recognize that that is a real thing. So I would always recommend have a look at what can you get into before that actually eventuates. Would you like to take up exercising, an interest, a hobby? And this is where you could start looking into what other things that you could do that supplements the income into the household for later on in those retirement years. Recognize that it does actually happen, but this is the most perfect time to be looking at rediscovering what you used to do before the kids came along and what you could actually pick up right at this moment. You might find that there's a new career path for you. You could probably do a little bit more traveling or engage in activities that really used to make you happy before you had them. I'm not saying that the kids don't make you happy. All I'm saying is that they come along, they take up all, all our time and energy, then they leave us, and then we're sitting there thinking, well, what next? So start thinking about what it is that you could do right now to move into that next phase. Topic number four, financial security, retirement, and why network marketing? Okay, so let's actually have a look at financial security first. And I did a little bit of research on this and I've got a link in the blog that takes you to um, a another blog that AMP wrote on financial security and I was really honing in on women, of course. But this is actually, to make it short, sharp and shiny, this is actually what the blog said, the AMP blog. And I've had to write this down. So the AMP blog actually did say that for a single female, for a single woman, she needs to have coming into her home $837 a week on top of the home being paid off for her to live, to, for her to actually live comfortably throughout her retirement. If you think about that, if you haven't got your home paid off, you're going to need a lot more than that to come in for the rest of your life. And again, it's no big secret for women over 45, we are now starting to consider, do I have enough funds in my retirement plan to carry me through for the rest of my life? So hence why I'm only bringing in network marketing as an example. There are so many different um, areas out there that you can actually incorporate into your home. Start early, well and truly before you get to the retirement years. Do the little side gig gently as you go. And then when you get towards closer to retirement, you've got something that's already established and you hit it up. So it might be network marketing. It could be affiliate marketing. It could be um, you're writing books. It could be anything. But all I wanted to do was get you to start thinking Okay, so what can I do to bring into my home to physically increase my financial security when I do retire? Personally, I thoroughly enjoy network marketing and I also enjoy affiliate marketing and don't I wouldn't put it past me if I start writing a book a little bit later on as well. However, the thing is, this is something that um, I like to share and an example would be is the network marketing industry or the home-based business model grew dramatically throughout the time of the pandemic. For the business that I'm actually working with, we grew globally by 460%. So that just says it all. It's out there and you can take that on if you want to or at least investigate that. Topic number five, network marketing and its role. Now here's the thing that I've also noticed. So depending on when you're actually watching this video, I turn 65 in two months. Now here's the thing. I've actually retired three times and I've gone back to work because I was bored out of my brain. If I had taken this on a little bit earlier rather than now, there is so many benefits to this particular business model that are just amazing. I'm constantly engaged. I am constantly learning. I, I actually believe that network marketing is a personal development course in disguise. It also allows you to grow into becoming a leader if you're not already a leader, but it also allows you to share the knowledge that you have gained throughout your years and you pass that information on to the people that you're actually working with. That is amazing. I'm constantly engaged and constantly involved in something and learning. And that is a blessing. 
This industry has no discrimination whatsoever. It doesn't matter age, color, race, gender, it doesn't matter. You can come into this business at any given time. Now, one of my other blogs I actually wrote, um, that is conniematthews.com.au forward slash 009. That will give you the free downloadable. There will give you a complete guide on what it is that you need to get started as an entrepreneur. So feel free to head over there, read that blog, download that guide, take it on board, have a look at what's in there and see if it's for you. That's pretty much it for this week. However, I generally do like to close off with question of the week. And so for me this week, the question was, well, Connie, you seem to be all over the place and I don't think I've got the time to do that. Guys, I'm really, really, really into automation. So I've got a couple of tools that I use that, and the, the links for those are actually in the blog as well. So I automate just about every single post but I'm only on two platforms at this point in time, and that is, well, three technically. My, I'm on Facebook business page, my Facebook personal page, and LinkedIn. And of course, I'm writing blogs on my website. That is all I do. And I have to tell you, most of that is actually automated. There are so many tools out there, you only need to find the one that suits you. And again, you can always come back to me and ask me, Connie, well, what one are you using and what would, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? So think guys, right from here, from this moment, start thinking, how can you automate a new business? We have finally come to the end and I invite you to stay connected with me. You're going to find me on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, email, and everything is always housed on my website as well, conniematthews.com.au. I do invite you to stay connected to me. What I would love you to do is when you've gone through the blog, when you've gone through the freebie, I actually want to know which was your favorite recipe. Let me know. But I also want to know which part of all the blogging and the video did you like the best? On top of which, if there is a particular subject that you would like me to talk about, let me know because I will more than happily deliver that content to you. So for now, this is Connie Matthews signing out. Have an awesome week.